Hey there, sports fans. Oh wait, no, that's not this channel. Hey there, YouTubers. Um, so I have a video that I've wanted to do for several years, but I wasn't able to do until now. And it's going to be fairly long, so you can just uh, stick with it. I think it'll be worth your while. Um, as the title says, or as the title suggests, this is going to be a video about my braces, specifically the braces that I wore when I was younger. Um, and some other kind of paraphernalia that I had when I was younger in terms of disability stuff. So I guess the f first thing is, let's just start right off. Um, so I don't, I don't actually remember using this helmet. Um, and I feel kind of, kind of silly that I had it at all. Um, but, um, and it, it actually still almost fits me, amazingly enough. This is kind of unreal. It looks like an old-time football helmet, in a way. Um, so, <laughs> um, my, my mom tells me that this probably, she doesn't really remember it either, but she's assuming that I had to wear it when I got my first pair of braces just as extra prote protection. Um, so I will get to that right now. And I will ignore that text message that you just heard, or maybe I'll check it. Let's take a second. Okay. Uh, and we got Rusty here. Cameo by him. Guest starring him. Okay, so here we are. This was my very first pair of braces or set of braces, or whatever you want to call it, and as you can see, the legs go back and forth, because these are what are called, or, well, I call them recipro reciprocating braces, meaning the legs go back and forth, so basically I would put one leg forward, the other one would go back, one leg forward, the other one would go back, and that's, that's how I used to walk with braces and crutches. Um, at some point, it was decided that that was not ideal for me to do. Um, and you can see the legs at the hip bends here. There's a lock here that you can do that with. So different style lock than my current braces. And different style lock at the knees. Um, if I can... There we go. So, see here, knee... It's hard to believe I was ever small enough to fit in these, but I was, and I'll give you a closer look at the, so here's the um, hip lock, right here, and here's the knee, right here, is the knee lock, and I'm going to just take the autofocus off because it doesn't, yeah, there we go. Okay. Um, and as you can see, if you recall, I don't have my old brace, my, sorry, I don't have my current braces here because they're down in Florida and I am in New Jersey, but um, different kind of back. So this is the, this is the front. This is where my like stomach would be, my abdomen or whatever. And um, this is the back. So vastly different, just really this to support my butt and keep me up straight. Um, <laughs> if you can see the feet, so, 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 so tiny. Um, and so the buckles, different kind of buckles here. These are kind of like a, I don't really know what to call this material here. Um, but then you got the straps here. And then down here, the buckles are even different than those. I don't know why. Um... And these buckles move, whereas these buckles are sort of in place. Oh, you know what it looks like? It looks like there's an extra... So there's straps here, straps here, and then there's an extra set of buckles and straps right here, which may have been for my knees, I guess? I, I really don't know. Any hoodle. Let's move on to the next pair. Um, okay. Hey. 
And I'm going to close my door so I don't get any interruptions. But I'm sure that Rusty will want to go out now that I've done that. So here is the second pair of braces that I ever had. Slightly bigger. Uh, still reciprocating. So in fact, all I have to do is move one leg and the other leg automatically moves back. One leg forward, the other one moves back. Same if I move the other one. So you can see there's the walking motion, just like that. Um, the same kind of hip lock. So with that, can bend the hip. Back there. Um, Slightly different kind of knee lock this time, more akin to what I have right now, even. And it's the same on the other side. And the same back as the first pair. So, um, not really much support. Sorry, I just thought I remembered I was doing something and I needed to change that. Okay, back. So not really much support in terms of the back, just really this to keep me upright and then whatever these things are I don't really know um, and then a strap in the front now this strap is quite a bit different it looks looks like leather strap in the front as opposed to the other ones which are sort of like a velcro um, and so the straps in the front now this is the same kind of material that was on the top on the other brace I don't I, I don't, don't know what that's called and then these here, but as you can see, after all these years, super duper sturdy, and there's even <laughs> Sharpie marks there and uh, there, which um, I think were for my ankles. I guess those were points where I had more pressure when I had the braces on, so I probably had red marks that were left uh, by those. And... Let me just move the camera up slightly. That should be better. Okay, so um, I think that's about it for these. I, I do want to mention, so I, as I'm seeing this, these sort of like, um, I don't know, wound wire that here and there, that's to allow the reciprocating action on it so you can you can see the move when the legs are moving back and forth okay let's move on to the next pair um, actually let's take a quick break from that and we'll do this so this is, I think, the very last body jacket that I wore. This is before I had my um, back, let's see, before I had my rods attached to my spine. Um, so basically, this would I would put this on and wear it all day. So it comes apart like this. It's pretty much almost almost like a corset. Put it on, wear it all day, and um, it was to keep my back sh as straight as possible. And then what happened was when I, and I did, I did mention this in another video, if you've been watching my channel for a while, um, when I did have the rods attached to my spine, they said, okay, you don't need the body jacket anymore. And I was just like, but, but. But I, I like it. I, I like wearing the body jacket. It makes me feel comfortable. It makes me feel secure. But within, I don't know, a month or so of not wearing it, I was so used to not wearing it that I did not want to go back to wearing it. Um, so anyway, that's this last body. So I had hmm, maybe three or four of these as well, um, but I don't know where those other ones are. And there's, if you can see back here, metal, metal, metal on the side and metal on this side as well in inside the foam. How you doing, Pop Pop? Just, just 
chilling out. This one's going to be hard to show because it's not, it, it, uh, it's in pieces, but these are the legs to my third pair of braces. And you can see same kind of material there and slightly different here. It's got a little padding there, just like on the first pair. <clears throat> Same kind of lock as the second pair for the knee. There we go. Um, I will get the top part now. So, still dealing with the reciprocating action, but. Um, oh, it looks like these are on back. <laughs> yes, okay, so these are on backwards. We must have tried to repair it and put it on backwards because this, this button is supposed to be back here and this button is supposed to be back there. Um, <clears throat> so they're just on the wrong. This one should be over there and that one should be over here. But it's the same kind of deal and the same back and the same kind of butt or hip support and again with the leather strap in the front. I do want to revisit the leg. I'm just gonna use one leg though, because I don't need the whole thing. So if you can see in here, there was extra buildup of foam again because of my ankle. Uh, to just a little bit more padding there, so I wouldn't have as much pain or redness uh, after taking them off. And I'll go back one because I forgot to show you on the previous pair, but it also where those sharpie X's were. There was also some extra padding. Here and also, I don't know if you can see it here. All right. Before I get to the next pair, we'll go to the very first pair of crutches that I used. Um, so these were the first crutches that I used. They, they're missing the bottoms right now. And you can see um, the straps here on the front, just basic Velcro. And um, so now this clip wasn't on it initially, but when I was in first grade, I and I was wearing my braces full time during school, my first grade teacher, uh, Mrs. Heller, actually, her name was. She thought, hmm, how could I make it easier on Joseph to go up to the board and write things on the board and bring up his work and whatnot and stuff like that? So she thought of attaching this clip to the crutches so that I could hold paperwork or a pen or like, you know, other things to just to make it easier on me to be able to use the braces full time in, in her class. Okay, moving right along. So now this was my first pair of non-reciprocating braces. These now remain, were less for walking and more for standing. Um, although you could walk in them with a swing through gait and they're quite, quite a bit larger than the other ones were see if you can see the whole thing. So then two straps up here, two straps down here, in the same kind of lock as at the knee, but now no longer with the reciprocating lock, instead it's the same kind of lock as the knee. If you remember the other braces, it had that kind of push button. 
Um, the back support, same as before. Leather strap in the front. Um, and I guess that's about it. No buildup on the ankles. I guess at that point I didn't really need it. There is some buildup on the just below the knee, though, right here and right here. And if you can see, they look kind of lopsided. That's because of the difference in my legs. So this one is, of course, lower than this one. Um, but again, this is when I started using a swing-through gate much more. Okay, before I get to the second most recent pair of braces, um, again, I don't have my current ones, but before I get to that, I'll show you a cast that I had after one operation. Here it is. This is after I had my knees and hips, tendon release, um, and they had the bones like reset in order to help me sit, or sorry, and well, mostly to help me stand, stand straighter. Um, so there's bars here and here to prevent my, you know, because both of them needed to be in casts. Um, and so basically I had to, now they're held together by these straps, but, oh, he wants out. <laughs> Hold on just one second. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. Um, so where was I? Um, so I had to basically, basically I spent like six to eight weeks in these, meaning I had to sleep with these on, I had to, I had to do everything with these on and it was a real pain in the ass. I got to admit, um, I, I distinctly remember the summer that I had to do that and I was just, I was so, so miserable. Um, the one good thing was that um, a friend of my sister uh, loaned me his Super Nintendo, so I was able to play that while I was having to live and on the couch and pretty much do everything from the couch that entire, uh, for that most of the summer, actually. Um, but anyway, these are those braces, and um, not an experience I would want to have to go through again. So only have a little bit left for this video. Make sure these don't fall. Okay, so now we're going to look at, just real quick, my second most recent pair of braces. So these are the braces that I had before my current ones. And <laughs> I've got bottles in the legs right now just to keep them loose. Um, but you can see vastly different from those other braces because up here there's almost like a body jacket instead of just the little hip support. Um, the locks here are the same as on the previous pair and the same as the knees. And the straps, two up here, one down there. No extra support, no extra padding for the knee, no extra padding for the ankles. Um, and these are pretty much identical to the ones I have now, with the exception that the ones that I have now fit much better. They're more um, attuned to my body currently, whereas these were more attuned to my body, you know, 10 years ago or when, whenever it was. And maybe I'll just show you real quick the difference in size from my first pair to this, which is not my current pair, but pretty close. Ooh, 
it's hard to push when you've got things in both hands. So here we go. <laughs> you can see way, way, oh, there's another text. Way, way, way different in size. It's hard to believe that I ever fit in these, but I did. I'm just going to put these down here for now so I can put these other ones back. And I've got one more piece of equipment to show you, and then we'll be done. I'm going to put the fan on because it's a little warm. Okay, I'm going to put these braces back, and then I'm going to show you the last piece of equipment. And that's this, and I don't really know what this was for, uh, and I haven't asked yet, so I might do a quick little addition to this video if, I, if I'm able to find out. Um, it kind of looks like it's a mold for something, or maybe to just to keep my legs in this position. I really, really don't know, um, but uh, this was in the same place as my old braces, so we just took it out of there so I could do this video. Um, Again, so one, two, three, four, five pair of braces plus my new, newest ones make six. Um, the helmet that I had, the body jacket, the old crutches, the cast with my legs like this, and also this piece here. And geez, well, thank you for staying with me so long if you're still here. Um, so thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to stay safe out there.